Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chan. Let's get into a minute. Let's go. First things first, happy birthday to all the Virgos who have a birthday today. I hope you have a great day. So I'm here with a live Hot Topics update. We will not have live Hot Topics on Wednesday, but we will have them on Tuesday. So August 27th, we will have live Hot Topics at 11 o'clock a.m. Central on Millie Chan TV on YouTube. I'll see y'all there. We got a lot to talk about. Y'all, the world is tired of Amanda Seals. She has been kicked out of Limerick Park. I don't know where that is. But this lady over here, she was like Amanda's shield. And the lady that is behind this camera was telling Amanda everything that she was about to do to her. And she told her to get out. Eventually, she left. The world is tired of Amanda. So, you could just take a chill pill, Amanda. We'll circle back at the top of the new year. Right? You need to just chill out for a minute. On to the next hot topic, Drea Kelly, right? Not only have we found out that she's been in a relationship for 11 years with Cisco Rosado from the Love and Hip Hop New York, and we've been men in black every day for 11 years, but now, yesterday, no, Saturday in Atlanta, she was um, honored by receiving a doctorate of philosophy in humanitarianism. So she has an honorary doctoral degree. Like, she is really doing things, right? I know people are going to have a lot to say, but they said she's been putting in the work. And from my understanding, she's a sweet lady. Um, she just got a little spicy lifestyle, child. Congratulations, Drea. Two questions. I thought Omarosa already was a lawyer, so she doesn't have a law degree? Or is she going for a second one? Because she's going to school in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Here's her and her son. And second, are we letting her back in to the sisterhood? <laughs> Let me know. Child, Umbarosa has found her a diehard Democrat where she's a diehard Republican. She is now at the DNC with sister locks. So there's a lot of things that have changed. Now, I don't think we really want to hear that much from Umbarosa, but are we here for Umbarosa? I just need to know, what are we doing? Let's keep going. Y'all, this is coming from the shade room. You gotta go over there and listen to Maxwell's Tiny Desk performance. It was amazing, right? Whatever you got on your CD, on your iPod, whatever you got, this right here was great. Yeah, Mariah's son, I can't think of his name, but her and her husband took him to Hampton University. Y'all, do y'all realize we have watched these kids grow up? Like, I remember when he was a little baby on the show. Now he is a freshman in college. This goes for a lot of children, like all Teresa Judice's children. Like, that is wild. We're just getting better. We're not getting old. We're just getting better. <laughs> so on to more marriage medicine. Um, sweet tea, I cannot wait till this season starts. But I know that she was not in Atlanta. Like, she hasn't been here for a minute right i don't know when that couple's game night was but i don't think sweet tea was in town her sister just had a baby so congratulations and i think she was helping her sister bring life into the world it's smoke and mirror sometimes you can never tell with these girls i could be wrong but probably not let's keep going Speaking of bringing life into the world, congratulations to Haley and Justin Bieber on their son, Jack Blues Bieber. Um, this is so sweet. Look at those baby feet. Child, but this is for young people because getting up at three, honey, with these bottles and diapers, bless them. This is a blessing. Child, this is coming from Tasha K. So Jason Lee is revisiting his time that he met. Uh, Lauren Hill. He said he walked up to her and he was like, hey, Lauren. And before he could get his name out, she stopped him in the middle middle of his sentence and say, I miss Hill, right? And then she walked away. So he said that was our whole interaction. So a minute, <laughs> like some people, you just have to recognize like Lauren Hill is an icon. So you want to be respectful. I mean, I know Jason is Jason, but you're not like right there, Jason. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Miss Hill. But then some people kind of go too far, too, sometimes. Let me know what you think about that. Let's keep going. 
Child, they've been talking about Portia in the pulpit. Do you hear me? Portia was in the pulpit giving it to the congregation, but I found out that it was for her cousin's funeral, right? And I saw the video, but her dress was a lot. <laughs> like, the people could not with the dress. But more than that, we thought that the show had wrapped with Angela's black tie event, but the cameras came back for her cousin's funeral. They were filming this. And P.S., I found out Phaedra did the funeral. Child, I can't wait to see what this season brings. Let's keep going. Also, I have to say thank you to all of the Millie crew and getting me to 16,000 plus now on my YouTube channel, Millie Chan TV. So please go like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you all so much. Lastly, while I was here in Atlanta, I had a great time. We were in Doorville, Georgia, and they have a pop-up for the Titanic exhibition. If you're into things like this, this was really good. I got to be queen of the world. <laughs> <laughs> then I got to go to the Wellness Noir. If you don't know, Estet Noir is here in Atlanta. She has a new business and it provides everything. I got a chance to meet her. She's such a sweet soul. And when I say she has everything, y'all, she has everything. Like, she has body sculpting. You know, take a couple of inches off cool sculpting. I really want to do that. <laughs> then, y'all, this chamber, like, she, this whole room is on purpose. The way she explains these pictures, she explains the floor, she explains these pictures on the wall. And you sit off in here and just sweat it off. Amazing. Not only does she have all of this, right? But let me show you who I met. Who said that she probably can help me, child? Miss Deborah. This is Melody Cherie's trainer from Love and Mary Johnsville. <laughs> she was like, girl, I know exactly what to do for you to get it off in four weeks. Miss Deborah, I am tapping in. But this was amazing. She's such a sweet soul. And uh, Estet's best friend, Danielle, was there also. And she had a ribbon cutting on Saturday. No, on Sunday. It was simply amazing. Let's keep going. Then Sunday, this is part of my birthday gift. We went to the cooking school. If you have not done this in Atlanta, you need to look into it. It was so much fun. Uh, I want to learn how to make sushi. They have a sushi. They teach you how to make a proper steak, knife skills, and Mediterranean food. Uh, they have a pasta night to show you how to make pasta. We made brunch, shrimp and grits. This was our chef. This is Chef Mo. She's from Louisiana. And baby, she is from Louisiana. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I took this real serious. Like when I was, it was my turn to start the grits. Like using a whisk is the, is the true secret to making creamy grits. Along with everything else, heavy whipping cream, cheese, thyme, and a whisk. But y'all, the way our mouths were on the floor when we realized that it only takes three ingredients to make these little petite fluffy biscuits. Uh, Lily, Lily meal, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. And um, a quarter cup or half a cup of heavy cream. But you just mix it until you get your dough to the right consistency, right? With Add flour to it also. And put a little rosemary in there. Biscuits. I never knew. We were lit and full. And the best thing about this is that when we got there, we were just seated waiting for everything to start. But at the end of it, we had a meal together and we made friends. Like we had a real conversation over the food that we made. It was really a beautiful experience. Then y'all came out, right? And I know the 75 was closed and everybody couldn't get here. I understand. But I love when people come. I love to talk to y'all all the time. Absolutely beautiful people. We had a wonderful conversation. We had food. I had ordered food for everybody. We had a good time. And shout out to Gina. Send me your photo and you'll be up next. But child, I ended my night with these two. <laughs> Michelle and Josh. Honey, I want to thank y'all because without you all, I wouldn't even be able to have this photo, right? I appreciate it. And the tea that I have that I got to hold on to until I can let it loose, child but this was great i had a good time y'all have a good day it's your girl millie chum i'll talk to y'all later bye